Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Mnangagwa, has laid down the rules for local authorities who neglect service delivery and spend bigger chunks of their budget on salaries. The president said council should observe the dictates of the law when deploying resources. He was speaking during an interaction with local authorities in Harare earlier today. ZTN Prime's Cheryl Hunyanyewa attended the meeting. In July this year, the waste management situation in Harare Metropolitan Province was declared a state of disaster. The province was recently declared the dirtiest in Zimbabwe, with over 2,000 garbage dumps scattered all over. Harare's shortcomings go beyond waste management. The water situation in the city is dire. Mention Harare's road network and sewerage reticulation. Those who run the city blame poor service delivery on lack of resources. But curiously, some of the city fathers take home fed checks. The situation is the same in most, if not all, local authorities in the country. And central government is not too pleased. The law says the revenue collect only 30% is earmarked for salaries. Very few councils observe that from now on. Do so. Preparations for the 2024 national budget have begun with Parliament hosting a three-day conference with the lawmakers and Treasury officials as well as Central Bank. The budget will run under the theme Consolidating Economic Transformation. Finance Minister Mtuli Ngube told reporters that increased focus will be on safeguarding gains made in the agriculture sector in the face of climate change and the expected adverse effects of the forecast El Nino. Well, beyond the means of government, uh, we've brought everything into line to make sure that, that they all are able to fall within the, what, what, what is affordable. But, 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 but of course, we, we know that growth will slow down next year to 3.5% of GDP from the 55 that we expect this year. And this is due to the El Nino effect uh, in agriculture, the slowdown in commodity prices, and also the slower uh, uh, global economy. So, so all this will impact uh, the global economy going forward. So we therefore must be even more prudent next year in terms of how we, we, we structure our, our, our budget uh, because of the slowdown in agriculture uh, and so forth. But it also means that we have to incentivize certain areas. We need, for instance, to incentivize diaspora remittances. We need to insist more on beneficiation uh, uh, in the mining sector. I fit right across the board. We need to continue to support the, the manufacturing sector with access to foreign currency so they can continue with the retooling program. The certain things that we need to do to make sure that we can support the economy in the face of these pressures that are coming in. Zimbabwe, like the rest of the world, is going paperless. Resultantly, there is a growing dependence on ICTs by businesses and other facets of society. However, this continuously puts users at risk of hackers, scammers and other associated threats. Recently, a research on the strength of the nation's cybersecurity was conducted, exposing how the country's systems are vulnerable after scoring a dismal 36%. The Global Cybersecurity Index of 2020, which is the latest Zimbabwe, was ranked uh, um, number 17 out of 43 in Africa in terms of cyber security. Zimbabwe's Information Communication Technology Minister Tatinda Mavetera said there is need for improved education on ICT to increase awareness. She was speaking at a national cyber security conference in Harare. We need to invest in cyber security education and training programs at all levels by equipping individuals with the necessary skills and knowledge to navigate the digital landscape safely. We also need to empower everyone so that they make informed decisions so that they can contribute to a more secure cyberspace. The Warriors technical team has named a 28-member provisional squad for the upcoming 2026 World Cup qualifiers against Rwanda and Nigeria. Marvelous Nakamba, Marshall Munetsi, Jordan Zemona, Teenage Hardebe and Tino Kadewere are among 20 foreign base players in the squad. Liverpool Academy star Isaac Mabaya Tawanda, Mashao Nise, from Leicester City and Leon Chiwome from Wolves have been called up for the first time. There are only seven local base players in the squad. Highlanders Dynamos and FC Platinum have two players each, with Bulawayo Chiefs and Chicken in providing the other players. 
Tanaka Shandirwa was a late addition after initially being omitted from the initial squad. The Warriors will begin their World Cup qualification campaign against Rwanda on 15 November and then they will host the Super Eagles in Rwanda four days later. Oh.